Hey guys, Kyle Sutton here with Better the Berg and your Pittsburgh neighbor, and we are out again doing a community profile. Today I am at a Family House in Pittsburgh, and I'm speaking with Jennifer March, the executive director of mm -hmm. Family House, and I'm really happy to be here, so thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Welcome to Family House, Absolutely. Kyle. It's a beautiful place, or one of your facilities. It is a beautiful place. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes, we have three facilities, three houses, mm -hmm. and they're all very warm and welcoming. Our goal is for it to feel like a home away from home, right. really comfortable, but also pretty beautiful. Sure, sure. So I, I know Family House is, is somewhat well known here in Pittsburgh, but why, why do people need a home away from home? What's going on? People need a home away from home when they're traveling to Pittsburgh for medical care. So the families that we serve are probably in a very acute situation, a medical crisis of some sort mm -hmm. whereby it requires them to leave their home and come to Pittsburgh for medical care yeah. and Pittsburgh is probably not a familiar city to them they're not from here sure sure so you you need to come to the city for all of our wonderful hospitals yes but what do you do if you have to be here a few days a few weeks that right. sort of a thing that's right and okay. of course there are hotels and some people choose to sleep in a waiting room or even in their car but Family House is a better option for them because we provide a supportive environment, we provide transportation to the hospitals for them, mm -hmm. meals in the houses, yeah. um, and a lot of camaraderie and community takes place here that you're not gonna find anywhere else. Which is important when you're away from home, for yes, sure. Yeah. for sure. So, uh, Jennifer, Three, three locations that three are locations, active and, and serving people? Very active. Yeah. We have a total of 130 guest rooms among our wow. three houses. Right. Um, and they're all conveniently located to all of the hospitals in the city. So we sure. partner with, with every hospital system. We're an independent nonprofit. We've got folks who stay with us who are coming here for with the VA, mm -hmm. um, folks who are getting treatment at UPMC or a one of the AHN hospitals. Okay. So we serve everybody. If That's you're great. coming here for medical care, you can stay with us. And, and speaking of which, you, you told me, how many states have you received guests from? Uh, last, last year, year yeah. it was 49 of the 50 states and 23 countries. That's neat, mm -hmm. wow. But more than half of the folks who stay with us are from Pennsylvania. So okay. they're from some part of Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Ohio, we get a lot of folks from there too. Right, right, and so how, um, how, how are you supported? How, how, how are you funded? What's, what's Great question. Yeah. So we are a nonprofit, uh -huh. and every nonprofit has to has to fundraise. So we raise about one point two million dollars each year, and that's what I call our charitable care. It goes directly gotcha. toward lowering the room rates for our guests. Mm -hmm. So our houses are very affordable. Yeah. Um, we offer further subsidies to people who are with us after a certain number of days, or if they're income eligible through our family assistance fund. Mm -hmm. And we raise those funds from local institutions, foundations, companies, yeah. um, and individuals who all support Family House. Okay, good. So you're cared for by the community. Yeah, it's, we it's, really are. It's a yeah. really beloved organization. We've been around since 1983, mm -hmm. and it's a very legacy, treasured asset in Pittsburgh. And while we don't serve Pittsburgh residents, mm -hmm. we've got a lot of relationships in the Pittsburgh community. Sure. So through our volunteer program, for example, we've yeah. got a, a big, large core of volunteers who are Pittsburghers. Um, and then, of course, within the hospitals, we've got very strong relationships. Yeah. It can almost be kind of a, a point of pride to provide good ha hospitality. Here yes, for, for sure, yeah. for sure. Well, you, so you mentioned volunteers. Let's jump ahead to that. How, sure. how, how um, if, if people identify with, with your mission, they say, hey, that would be something good to get involved with. What's, how do they do that? So we've got two categories of volunteers, if sure. you will. We've got house volunteers who are individuals who come into the house and they might work a three or a four hour shift. Mm -hmm. And what they do is they give our guests a tour of the house, get them comfortable, let them know where there might be places locally that they'd like to go to. Okay. Uh, for example, we get tickets from the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Pirates and the zoo and the museums and Phipps Conservatory. So all of these local assets yeah. that people might not be familiar with, but we want to provide them tickets to those places. So our volunteers help familiarize them with all of That's those great. opportunities. They'll set up their guest room for them, get them, you know, really comfortable. And then we've got group volunteers who come in and mm -hmm. they do meals in the houses. So they might come in and do brunch or dinner or lunch for our guests yeah. who just love that. And then we've got volunteers groups who come in and they do gardening and landscaping. Mm -hmm. um, my son and a bunch of his high school friends just came in and cleaned off the porches and the deck in one of our houses. Right, good so, stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's really good. Job, good. Guys. Yeah, yeah, right. That's great. <laughs> that's, that's really cool. Um, 
So, uh, so there's all these volunteer opportunities. You're telling yes. me there's a big event coming up soon too. Could you, could you share event. a little about that? So yeah, yeah, so we're really proud of this event, mm -hmm. and a lot of people are familiar with Family House Polo, mm -hmm. and it's been around just as long as the organization has been around. Okay, it takes place every September. It's coming up a month from today. Oh, there um, we go. September 14th. Mm -hmm. Can I say that? Yeah, of course. Uh, of course. September 14th, out at Hartwood Acres. And Polo still draws 2,000 people out to Hartwood for this day of okay. real, um, authentic polo match with polo players that um, are from South America. They travel here from, from all over with their horses. And um, people, our guests, our attendees, mm -hmm. sorry, no, no. They, have, they might have tents, they might tailgate. Polo is the easiest event you can do. You can okay. show up all day for 50 bucks and we've got food trucks, you can tailgate out of your car. Just reach out to us, get on the website, and you'll see all the details. Oh, that but sounds like a good time. Polo's really, really fun. All right, and it supports a great mission. Sure, so. sure. Okay, so good volunteer opportunities, individuals or groups. Yes. Um, come out to Polo, Yeah. all cool things. Yeah. Um, before we close, um, you were mentioning a really neat story um, about a, a guest at yeah, Family House recently. Right. Would you mind sharing about sure. that? Sure. So we, have, we always have amazing stories about our guests um, and we see a lot of cool relationships develop in our houses that are long-lasting. Um, if you're from Pittsburgh you might already know this story about Kelly Sawatsky. She is the young woman who held up a sign at, at a Penguins game and said I need a kidney and a Penguin fan who is a stranger to her but they share a love of hockey he said, I have a kidney. Yeah. And next thing you know, they're both in Pittsburgh and he, and they're getting evaluated and he's a match. And she has her transplant and it's successful. And Kelly's gone on, she's That's now amazing. married. And, yeah. <laughs> but um, it was really neat to see these two families and these two patients <sighs> stayed with, with us at Family That's House great. throughout right. the evaluation right. and, the, and the surgery as well. So we got to know them, we got to know their families and they got to know each other in a way that otherwise wouldn't have happened. Well, sure, yeah, they're, they're pre-op, operation, recovery, yeah. all here. Yeah. Hey, we, you have my kidney. Pretty yeah, we're, cool. we're tied together here. Yeah. That's beautiful. Pretty neat. Really neat. Well, well thank you. Thank, thank you, you um, Kyle. Jennifer March, Executive Director of Family House. I'm just really pleased to be able to be here thank with you. Thank you. Absolutely. Great to be here with you. Yeah. And guys, um, this is Better the Berg, and I appreciate you watching, um, and I hope to hear from you soon. Take care.